Hello, doers, and welcome back. My name is Jose Ignacio. In Odoo's inventory module, products are tracked in specific units like kilograms, liters, or pieces. But across teams and systems, those units don't always line up. That's because conversions are often done manually, or even worse, applied incorrectly across incompatible units. This is where Odoo's AI-powered server actions come in. By linking quantity unit definitions with real inventory data, AI dynamically displays quantities in the user's preferred unit of measure, like buckets instead of liters for clear, convenient reporting. What does that mean in practice? Well, 90% fewer unit conversion errors, more accurate stock levels, fewer production delays, and up to $200,000 a year in waste that is reduced or even missed revenue. Teams can communicate in the units that they know best as well. And whether you are a warehouse manager stocking pallets of ice cream or a shop employee scooping treats out of 10 liter buckets, AI handles that conversion for you. And even further than that, there's no more backtracking mismatch units at month's end. Your planners gain 20 plus hours a month to focus on forecasting, supplier coordination, or process improvement. Enough of that chit chat. Let's walk through how to set this up in Odoo and put AI to work for your inventory accuracy. So first we need to make sure that we have units configured. So let's open up configuration over here up at the top left and then select settings. Now we're gonna search for units over here. Okay, so I actually have it enabled on our database over here. We have units of measure over there, but let's take a look at how they are set up. So we're gonna select units and packagings. Okay, so this is where we can set up conversions. While some of these come pre-configured, we have the ability to create our own depending on our business needs. Let's take a look at one of our custom units. Let's look at bucket of 10 liters over here. So here we can see the unit name as well as the quantity. And if we needed to, we also have our reference unit. So if we go back, that's it right there, which is the leader. This is important because if the reference unit isn't configured correctly, the AI action won't be able to handle the conversion. In fact, it would happen to be so if we did something like instead of 10 liters, it's days or something else. Don't do that. Now let's take a look at how to track the target unit of measure. This is how we will tell the system how the business wants to see the inventory report while preserving how it is currently stored. So we're gonna select products up at the top. Once again, products. And this time around, we're gonna select our chocolate ice cream. So here we have our product record for chocolate ice cream. In our case, Ice cream is produced in-house in, well, we happen to do it in liters, as you can tell right there. However, for ice cream scoopers like myself, liters aren't as useful as they are to our accountants and perhaps our warehouse managers. I only see ice cream in buckets in here and sometimes scoops. And as you can see, we currently have a decent amount of liters on hand. We happen to have 60. But to help me and the other ice cream scoopers keep better track of ice cream, I added this target units of measure field that we happen to have right below it using studio. And look at that. Additionally, I added this field to our location report, which you can actually see under reporting and locations. Now, if we go over to chocolate ice cream over here, look at that. We have our nice little report on it and it shows the amount of each product that is on hand at this time. Using Studio, I added the fields for the target unit of measure that we have over here and the amount on hand. Now let's actually see how to handle the conversion. You can actually see that for our on hand target UOM. Okay, so let's open up Studio to check this out. We're gonna select it up in the top right. And then once that we're inside of here, let's see where should we go, oh doers? Well, I think it's time for us to click on Actions. And right after this, we want to expand our update record group. Okay, so here we actually have our convert to target UOM. This action is designed to update the record with AI, as you could tell, boom. And here is where I entered the details. The AI checks if your target unit is bigger or if it happens to be smaller than the original unit, and then either divides or multiplies the stock quantity to convert it accurately into the target unit. I also selected the appropriate fields to make sure the AI is referencing the correct amounts. But this is a bunch of words. Let's see how it works in action. So we're actually gonna close out of studio. Okay, so as I mentioned above, ice cream is produced in liters, but stored in buckets. So we need to track inventory in both units. 
So let's go over to our chocolate ice cream that we have right there. Okay, all I need to do is click the actions button over here up at the top and we're going to click on our convert action that we have over here. And this one, it's going to be our target UOM. Okay, and then we're just gonna let that do its thing. Look, listen, I probably could have done that math myself, but it's always better to be safe, right? Plus it won't always be that simple. As you just saw, our on-hand target units of measure over here is now at six because they're each per bucket of 10 liters. Now that I've seen the amount of ice cream in buckets, I know that after a busy day of ice cream scooping, we definitely will have less than six buckets left. So let me go update the quantity since stock level tracking is only useful when it's up to date by going to operations and then physical inventory over here. Okay, I'm gonna click on the line for, let's select it again, chocolate ice cream. And now it's time for us to edit this. So our counted quantity, I'm going to do 22. And then once that we have that, I'm gonna hit save and we're done. There you have it, our doers. Utilizing this AI-driven enhancement to Odoo Inventory lets businesses maintain data integrity while flexibly serving user-specific needs. And the best part, different teams from production to sales can view the same inventory in the units that make sense to them without duplication or confusion. It automates conversions only when logical, ensuring that the right quantity shows up in the right unit for the right team. Whether you're optimizing operations, improving reports, or building smarter dashboards, this small addition delivers huge clarity and efficiency gains. And I hope you enjoyed today's tasty lessons. And remember, stay cool, O-doers. Pretend that I'm wearing sunglasses.